For part three of this experiment, we'll now examine the effects of frozen pineapple on the gelling of Jell-O. Just as we've done in all of the other experiments, we will add 20 grams of frozen pineapple to our cup. When we are done adding the pineapple, we will add 80 grams of Jell-O. This Jell-O was mixed at the same time as all of the other Jell-Os, so we know that its concentration and the way it was mixed are the same. Make some observations on what you see. What does the pineapple look like? What does the Jell-O look like? We'll now place the entire experiment into the refrigerator for 24 hours. After 24 hours, we will retrieve our experiment from the refrigerator and we will make some observations. After 24 hours, we've removed our frozen pineapple and jello from the refrigerator. Let's make some observations. What do you notice about the pineapple now? What state of matter is the jello in this time? Now it's time to apply your knowledge. Can you figure out what happened with the frozen pineapple and why it behaved in this manner with the jello?